Hello, in this PCSX2 video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. So you can do it one of two methods using a wire or using the wireless mode. For wireless, you will need Bluetooth either built in or using some sort of dongle that's cheap. You can get it off eBay or Amazon. And if you want to know how to just set up PCSX2 and you haven't got that sorted, feel free to watch my video. There's a link in the description. So you might be thinking, I've already got a video for this. It's an older version with an older version of PCSX2 and using the newer interface, the, you know, the QT, you know, based one, things are slightly different. So I'll show you that and it's actually pretty easy now to, to connect. So you either, with a wire, you just plug it in and then the light will come on. There we go. Or I've disconnected it now. You can connect it via Bluetooth. If you're connecting it via wire, feel free to skip to the PCSX2 setup part. Now, if I just launch up my Bluetooth setting, Bluetooth, go to add Bluetooth for other device, or if you want the older school menu, go to devices and printers, go to add a device, and then you just select your device. I, I use this menu, that's fine. Okay, add device. Before I click Bluetooth, let me show you how to put it into pairing mode. You press the share button right here, and press the PlayStation button at the same time for about five seconds. Then the light will start flashing. Uh, one second, sorry. Uh, so yeah, you press the share and PlayStation button for five seconds. The light is now flashing. Go to Bluetooth. While it'll appear as wireless controller. See if that's the right one. It's, it's detected too. I was trying to connect up another controller earlier on. And now I'm going to click on this one instead. Click cancel. Do it again. Select the second one. There we go, it's gone solid. So if the multiple, just try one of the others. Click done, click close. Now you can set it up. Go to settings, go to controllers. You can select your four controller port one or two, doesn't really matter. Do controller port one. And uh, for global settings, enable DualShock 4 DualSense enhanced mode. Click the LED light. This allows you to choose the color. So it's a, it's a green color, if you can see right now. But if you want to choose the you know the color, it's supposed to be four controllers, by the way. You just go to this, and let's say if I click red, click OK, it's now red. If I want, let's say, a blue color, I don't know if that's the original blue. Well, it kind of looks like it. And there we have now blue. Click close, go to controller port one. I'm going to clear mapping. And now, if I was to click automatic mapping, select the PS4 controller, it automatically maps it. If you want to override this, and let's say for the D-pad, you want the face button. So you just press that. So if you press triangle, you only have so much time to do it. Uh, do square, for example. But I don't want that. So again, you need to do with the clicks, everything. I'm going to go back to automatic mapping because I want to leave that as is. Next thing, because this is mapped now. You can leave the motors. as is. That's just to do with vibration. In settings, you can invert the sticks. You can chain the dead zone so if you have a controller that has a bit of dead zone the sensitivity all that sort of stuff and you can restore it as well if you want to in macros you can set up a macro so if you want to press let's say circle and cross so let's you know in Tekken for example on no and Eddie you can do that and you press this and then so if I press the space bar space bar will trigger circle and X being pressed at any time and I'm just gonna you know delete this by just deselecting that if I right click this it wipes it as well click go back to bindings and the last thing I want to show you if you can't see any close button or any save button here's a little tip and I've got multiple monitors so it's a lot easier for me to do it but what I'm gonna show you is you go to your display settings you go to do, 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 and for scale and layout make sure I've Print it 200% because I want you to get to see better, but you know, lower the scale. I find people have a higher scale, and as a result, they can't see all of the buttons. So that's just something to bear in mind. If you have multiple monitors, uh, or you can just kind of just sort of move it around like so. But obviously, I've got multiple monitors, so it makes it easier for me to move. You can do a bit of resizing, but not much. You know, to be fair. There's so much that you can get away with, but you can just about fit it on here with the resizing. 
And now you can actually create a new profile. So if I click new profile, I could name it, let's say FPS. And do, 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 that's fine. And so this is the new profile. And the benefit of having different profiles, you can have different controller configurations for different games, different game genres, different players. Really powerful stuff. Feel free to load a profile if let's say your friends shared you one and delete it if you want to. Click close, there's no save button, you just click close. And now you just launch up a game. So let me launch up Crash Bandicoot the Raffle Cortex. Okay. Got the PS4 DualShock 4 controller right here. Do I have any states? I don't think I do. <laughs> Trying to skip this as much as possible so I can actually show you the controller working. That's what you really want to see. You can definitely tell I've got it on original native resolution. So there you go. Move up, down. I can select it with X. I'll just click done. And it's that simple. So it's all configured now. I'm just gonna, you know, get into the game, just show you it working with the analog sticks as well. But there's not you know, much more to it. It's, it's all set up, ready to go. Obviously, feel free to, you know, enjoy your favorites: God of War, Black, Final Fantasy, Crash Bandicoot, whatever it is. Let me know in the comments what you know game you're looking forward to playing. Once you've set up your DualShock 4 controller, if you're in, ooh, let me skip this start button, options, that is called. So if you're interested in doing it with the PS5 controller, the DualSense, the uh, process is slightly different because it doesn't natively, you know, detect it via Bluetooth. You need some extra software. I'm going to create a separate video because the original plan was to have a video combined, but it, it, it needs a few extra steps. So you can see I move around, press square. Ooh, nope. And you probably can't, you won't be able to hear it. I'm gonna put it on the table. Put it on the mic. There's a vibration as well. Let me just close that down and I'll click system, exit. Yeah, why not? Probably end up using that safe state anyway. So that's it. That's how you set up your PS4 DualShock 4 controller on your windows machine using the newer version of pcsx2 if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group link in the description if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye